howdy friends! Welcome to the second installment of this series following the construction of my new backyard railroad. Stay tuned, stick around, and uh, we'll build a one-inch scale trestle bridge together. The first step of this project is cutting down 2x4 studs on the table saw. I'm shooting for roughly one and a quarter inch square dimensional lumber. This will be used as the main structural supports, or bents, of my bridge. I sure put the new table saw to good use over the last couple of weeks. This is a long process, but taking those ugly round edges off the lumber really made a huge difference in the look later on. Next, we transition over to the chop saw to cut this lumber down to length. You'll see I adjust the cutting angle on the saw to keep all of my pieces uniform. To keep the math easy, I cut all of my angled pieces to 10 degrees. Up next, we'll begin to piece the first bridge bent together. This will allow me to build a jig around it, making construction of the following bents much easier. Time to clean up the remnants of the removed shop wall left over from the last video following construction of this miniature shop door. If you haven't seen that video yet, the link is in the description below. Once the demolition mess was cleaned up, I began to dig in the footings for these new bents. You'll see me place in the two different height bents as a test fit. The shorter bents are roughly 10 inches tall, and the taller ones are around 14 inches. Off camera, I did fill these new holes with a layer of crushed bedrock, then a layer of pea gravel, then tamp them down solid. I had debated pouring concrete footers, however after feeling how solid this program was, I didn't think there was really a need. This hard clay definitely made me work for my money. The hardest and most labor-intensive part of this whole project so far was definitely just digging in these bent footers. Up next, it was time to burn some wood. I chose to use the charring method to treat this lumber for several reasons. Firstly, I'd never personally seen this method used firsthand, and I'm curious how well it really resists the rot, fungus, and insects. Also, I didn't want to use any harsh stains or treatment chemicals on this project, as the water that runs through this drainage ultimately flows into a creek that my puppy plays in, so I don't want any chance of burn chemicals making their way into that water after dropping my fires. Lastly, this bridge is a very low hour project, maybe five hours of work total. It's really been fun to design and a cool experiment, so if the wood rots away in five years or so, I won't be too upset to build something new and improved in its place. My little shop dog Sadie sure has been a very good helper with this project. I think she's going to love chasing trains more often. Here you can see me burning the bridge trusses and ballasting up the difference on the footers. 
I was careful to take my time to get everything nice and square, so all the weight is transferred straight down with no twists or warps in the wood. Once everything was in place, the spans were attached to the bends. The next step was anchoring the ties to the trusses. These ties are all cut to 3 quarter inch square by 9 inches long and charred individually. This was also quite a tedious process but well worth it for the true to scale look in my opinion. Once the ties were down, it was time to add some thin detail strapping wood to complete the look of this bridge. First, you'll see me attaching some half inch by three quarter inch guard beams to the tops of the ties, then adding some eighth inch by half inch cross members to the bends. Here you'll see me taking full advantage of the natural crushed bedrock in my little creek, as this seems to be the most stiff packing material around. I'll use this bedrock to continue filling around the bottoms of the bents, as well as to harden up some of the freshly leveled ground around the bridge. I seem to have lost the footage from laying the rail on this bridge, but this really only took five minutes with all the ties already in place. It sure was great to see 311 outside perched on her new trestle for the first time. So far, this pile design seems super sturdy, and I'm very pleased with the result. Be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for the next video in this series, and guys, as always, thanks for your support, thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you down the line.